is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You see, uh, as exhibiting the only perfect uh, spirit and example, Jesus is our example. The gospel of God is our example. In chapter 3, the knowledge of whom the, the supreme prize for and what we struggle for. It says in Philippians 3, 7-14, And whose, whose uh, appearing believers' bodies shall be transformed. Philippians 3, 20-21. I like this verse, Philippians 3, 20 and 21, because it says this, For our conversation is in heaven, from whence we also look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. One of these days, my body is not going to get tired. One of these days, uh, these uh, sinful desires are not going to uh, plague me uh, like they do now. One of these days, I'm going to be transformed into the body of Christ. Amen. And so uh, we praise God for that by him. Chapter four, whose power is in the the uh, the uh, limitless uh, limitless in Christian lives. Philippians four thirteen. You probably know this one. It says, "I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me." Who is the channel of divine supplies for every need? Philippians four nineteen. But my God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Zechariah said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The psalmist said, in his presence is fullness of joy, and at his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. In Psalm 16, Shana read it this morning. When we get into the spiritual and out of the natural, we can rejoice in any circumstance. Amen? Amen. When our bodies are in pain, we can still keep our eyes on the prize before us. When men persecute us and put us into prison, we can still write a letter uh, to the church of joy and encouragement. When we are, when there are no more fortunes in the fortune cookies, you know, Christ will supply all of our needs according to His riches and glory. You know? <laughs> when somebody turns out the light at the end of your tunnel, the Lord is my light and my salvation. In whom shall I fear? Saith the Lord God. You know. When they take the horror out of horoscopes, you know. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff that wants to get our minds off of Christ and onto fortune or good luck or, you know, the stars or whatever it is. You know. <coughs> There's an old song out there. We sing it around here once in a while. It says, we'll work. Till Jesus comes, we'll work. See, Jesus is not coming back for a harlot, but he's coming back for his very own bride. That has made herself ready and has been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Revelation 19 says this. Revelation 19, 7 through 9. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife hath made herself ready. He, Jesus just isn't coming back for any old whore. He's coming back for his, his wife, his bride. And his bride has made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. Of saints. And he saith unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called in the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. Wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, sometimes I want to desire, and I know you do too, sometimes in our trials and tribulations down here on earth. God, it would be better if I just came up there. You know? The Lord says, No, you got a little bit more suffering to do. You got a little bit, uh, some more things to learn. There's somebody else that needs you down there. Like the Apostle Paul says, it's more needful that I stay down here for a little while. You see, the only way that I can tell you about entire consecration is to preach the very word of the Lord that will cause things to be accomplished according to His good pleasure. 
This work will continue until we see Christ. And then the work will be fulfilled. We shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. 1 John 3, 2. Uh, it was a source of joy to Paul to know that God was still working in the lives of his fellow believers at Philippi. After all, this is the real basis for joyful Christian fellowship to have God at work in our lives day by day. And every once in a while, somebody will call me out of the blue. This one guy, I told you about him, uh, Brother Charles, who used to play bass up here with me, you know Charles Miller. He called me 14 years later. He, I'd lost track of it. He called me, he lived in Colorado, was remarried, and was uh, playing music, and his wife was singing in the church, growing in the Lord, 14 years later. And you know, that does something to this pastor when I see that the work that Jesus started in his life is still being fulfilled in him today. And that, that, is the, uh, uh, that is the joy of our lives. Because a lot of times, you know, the work is frustrating. A lot of times people turn on us and they persecute us. And I've got hate mail in my office that every single thing in a person's life is my fault. You know, and uh, so I was kind of proud of that one. I, it says I didn't know I was that powerful, but anyway. <laughs> um, you see, it was a, it was a source of joy to Paul to know that, was, that God was still working the lives of fellow believers in Philippi. And uh, one day, a couple went to a counselor, and they said there seems to be friction in our home. Uh, a concerned wife said to a marriage counselor, I really don't know what the trouble is. And friction is caused by one of two things, said the counselor. And the illustrator picked up two blocks of wood from his desk. If one block is moving and one standing still, there's friction. Or if both are moving but in the opposite direction, there's friction. Now which is it? I'll have to admit that I've been going backward in my Christian life, and Joe has really been going, has really been growing, the wife admitted. What I need is to get back to fellowship with the Lord. See, we need to be pulling the same direction in the Spirit of the Lord. We need to be in Christ because what? The works are finished before the foundation of the world. You see? And we can go forward in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He is going to perform the work until the day of Jesus Christ. And we, as his bride, are going to see him one of these days. We're going to be sitting at the marriage supper of the Lamb, and we're going to have white clothes on. Probably not eating barbecue, because that'd mess up the white. <laughs> mess it up. <laughs> going to be fish and chips, right? That's what Jesus did when he was on the earth, right? Fish and Never mind. <laughs> Where are you at today? How is your life? Is it consecrated to the Lord? Or is there friction between you and the Lord? Is there something that the Lord is asking you to do that you're not doing? Is there something you're doing that the Lord is asking you not to do? You know, is there friction between you and the Lord? Because our hearts are prone to leave the God I love and to go after other things. But we have to keep our focus on the gospel. You know that gospel is, hey, well, if I, keep my, if I keep the focus on the gospel, I may have to follow Jesus to the cross and, and suffer. I don't know if I want to put that in my mind. Well, we need to put it in our mind because it's in the Word of God. Okay? But God is there. It's like he was there with Jesus. And he took the name of Jesus and, and he highly exalted him above every name under heaven. And one of these days every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Is there any public decisions that you need to make this morning? Maybe a public decision say, you know, I just need to get saved right now. I need to call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. Because, man, I thought I was saved, but 
All I've been doing is I've been wanting things from God, and I've never just come to God the way He wants me to. And see, that's, that has to do with the convicting power of the Holy Spirit. That has to do with God drawing you to Himself, said, repent of your sins and, and believe in Me. Believe in the Gospel. Turn from your sins. You see, that's, that has to do with that. Because the work that God does in us, or for us, is salvation. We can't save ourselves. He has to save us. That's the work that God does for us. The, God, the work that God does in us is sanctification. And the work that God does through us is our work in Him. And so we have to get that uh, straight a lot of times in our mind because we, we just pick it up one, one, little, one little doctrine and say, oh, that's, that's good for me. And, you know, that's going to get me into heaven. Well, it may or may not. So be careful with that. Amen. Uh, is there any uh, decisions that need to be made as far as church membership, uh, baptism, anything like that this morning? All right. Does anybody have a uh, does anybody have a word to say before we dismiss this morning? Thank you got God for our salvation in Jesus Christ. Uh, his blood washed us from sins. And we're going to heaven. And one day, church, you're going to look for me and I'll be gone. I'm going to heaven to sing and shout. And nobody there will put me out. <laughs> I heard an old black teacher say that years ago. I remember I must have been five or six years old. I try to pray a phrase and I'm say it again. One day, I'm going to heaven to sing and shout. And nobody there is going to put me out. <laughs> amen. 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 Well, amen. No, no man can pluck you out of the Father's hand, right? That's right. Um, yes. You know, we all been praying for my little granddaughter and things like that. Sometimes when you think there is no hope, there is hope. And we have the pictures to prove it. That the change in that child has been so great because we gave her over to God. Yeah. This guy can't do it. I can't do it. I don't have the answers. I don't have the strength. I don't have the wisdom. I said, but I know you do. And we're in night. And it's really had over to me. God and things started happening. And I mean it happened so quick it was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And she went to a prom last night and I never seen anything so gorgeous in my life. Mm -hmm. And she was dressed I could not remember what was too bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just thank God for that love that He has for us that passes all of our understanding. <coughs> That when we ask Him for something and we're earnest and truthful in our hearts and we are trusting Him, He will make the change. He will. He will. Sometimes we are here on earth, we may not see it. But one day we'll get into heaven and He will explain it all to us. There will be no more secrets. There will be no more what if or what could have been. It's all going to fall into place. And we're going to know the truth. Yes, we are. We're going to know the truth. And I'm standing here, and I am praising God for what He has done for our little granddaughter. Mm -hmm. We love more. I love her more. I love her all night. And uh, to see that change, because we gave up and gave in to Him, mm -hmm. it all fell into place. So if you're doubting or if you're worried, don't take care of it no more. Leave it alone. Mm -hmm. and give it to him and then watch what happens. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that testimony. Thank you for that. I remember uh, my dad telling me, uh, he says, well, all I could do is turn you over to the Lord, you know. And the Lord can do more in five minutes than He can do in a lifetime. Praise the Lord. 
where could I go but to the Lord, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Alright. Well, praise the Lord, it's been a good day. Mm -hmm. You know, go in the grace and uh, in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Go in faith, believing. Uh, God is going to, God is the God of all comfort. He's the God of all miracles. He's the God of all life. There is no other God but Him. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again, I say rejoice in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, thank you, Lord, for this day that you have made. Lord, uh, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you, Father, for your word. And Lord, uh, I pray, Father God, that Lord, we would uh, uh, put our faith into action faith in, in it, uh, Lord, today. And Lord, we just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you till we meet again.